Már így következik az Aldéból két percre. Thank you, Madam President, Commissioner and colleagues. Each time we debate Turkey, more damage has been done to the rule of law, to the separation of powers, and to the promise of Turkey's European path, and especially to the rights and freedoms of people. We have never questioned the legitimacy of bringing to justice those who perpetrated a failed coup. However, the measures taken, including the arrest of eight doctors last week, when they called for peace after Turkish operations in Afrin, show that actions are often unrelated to the failed coup at all and are certainly disproportionate. Even if the doctors have been released, another chilling message is sent that no one can assume freedom of expression or freedom after expression. Countless journalists are in prison from Jum Hurriyet or Ahmed Sheik, but also members of the parliamentary opposition such as HDP leader Demirtas or the head of Amnesty International. But additionally, over 100,000 people have lost their jobs, wait endlessly in pretrial detention, and are de facto punished without trials. Those who do stand trial cannot be sure that the procedures are fair. The arrest of Osman Kavala is a case in point. Turkey is drifting further and further from anything that resembles a European dream. The Council of Europe's Venice Commission assessed that the constitutional changes would, quote, introduce a presidential regime which lacks the necessary checks and balances required to safeguard against becoming an authoritarian one. Well, interestingly and sadly, even without these constitutional changes in place, that is what we're witnessing. We're witnessing NATO's two largest armies opposing each other in Afrin. And I believe that we as Europeans have to attach consequences to the de facto violation of the Copenhagen criteria. While we cannot prevent President Erdogan and his AK party from leading his country off the cliff, we can at least ensure that we are credible about the basic principles of the EU. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Depuis juillet 2016, la situation en Turquie ne cesse de se dégrader. Des milliers de personnes croupissent dans les prisons, y compris sans qu'aucune accusation réelle n'ait été portée contre eux ou sans qu'ils puissent avoir accès.